According to the National Statistics Bureau, 3.7% of males living in the Southwest were retired exterminators. Researcher believes that the percentage has increased since that. She randomly selects 250 males in the Southwest and finds that four of them are retired exterminators. Test the researcher's claim at alpha 0.1 level of significance. So, as usual, we'll start from the writing null and alternative hypothesis. Our parameter here is proportion, because we are given 3.7% and this is nothing else as proportion. So, null hypothesis is easy to write. P would be equal 0 0.037. Now, what sign do we have to pick up in alternative hypothesis? We have the same parameter, the same number, the only what we have to care about here to pick up appropriate sign. We have to look at keywords or keyword in the condition of the problem. Here we have has increased. Has increased becomes bigger. So we have to put greater sign in our alternative hypothesis. Next step. We have to pick up n and x, which is easy. n is sample size, 250. And x is for how many of the sample individuals share particular feature. Then we have to look at the condition and p1 minus p has to be greater or equal than 10 to be able to use one dash prop z test function. So let's put in this condition our numbers. We will have 250 times 0 0.037 times 1 minus 0 0.037 and you have to use calculator to find this number. So 250 times 0 0.037 times open parenthesis 1 minus 0 0.037 close parenthesis click enter and you will have approximately 8.9 you compare this with 10 clearly this is wrong this is false statement so we cannot use one dash proxy test and we have to use binomial probability distribution according to the book According to the PowerPoints, our p-value will be probability, which you will calculate based on the binomial probability distribution. And how can we find this p-value? What do we have to do for that? First, you have to look what sign do you have in your alternative hypothesis. This is greater. Then you have to look what your x is. And based on the combination of x and sign, you have to write all possible values for the x. You have to start from the value you have in the x, 4 in our case, and go in the direction indicated by the sign in alternative hypothesis. It's greater. So you have 4, 5, 6, up to 250. So our p-value will be probability that you could have 4 plus probability that you could have 5 plus you could have 6 and up to 250. Clearly, it's a lot of work if you will use to calculate probability for each particular number. So what to do in this case? You can write complement. Complement is everything not included in the sequence for the x. What is not included? 0, 1, 2 and 3. As usual, working with the complement, we can claim that our probability we're looking for would be 1 minus probability of the complement. And probability of the complement would be binomial probability distribution, CDF, cumulative, because we have more than one value for the x, in which you will put your n, 250, you will put your probability p, 0 0.037, and you'll put biggest number in the sequence, which starts from zero. So to find this probability, you have to grab calculator. You have to put one minus, then second vars, pick up your binom CDF. So go down until you will see binom CDF, not binom PDF, but binom CDF, in which you will put your n, 250, 0 0.037, and 3. Click enter. The answer would be 0 0.9837. This is our p-value. 
You have to compare this p-value with alpha given to you 0.1. Clearly, our p-value is greater than alpha. So the conclusion is fail to reject null hypothesis. So essentially, it means that we still remains with the null hypothesis. And it means that the number of extra determinators retired in our area actually did not change since the time whenever it was 3.7%. We did solve problem.